right, so today's video, we're gonna be talking about, well, it's the mic arm from Blue. Uh, representing by the Blue Yeti, I don't have, and you can actually see it right here. There's a new mic arm in town. So I picked it up. It retails for the same price as the Rode PS, PSA-1 boom arm, which I have right over there. And I thought I would get a new look, new mic. This one has a little bit of a more of a custom look to it, a little bit better cable management. Do I really need an upgrade? No, I don't, but I got one anyways. So the cool thing is, is that the Rode, which sits right over here, is, uh, it's been doing fantastic for quite some time. I mean, I've had it for probably four, four or five years now, and it's worked out amazingly. Like I said, this is not necessarily a need of mine, but I do have a awesome Rode mic, which is right here. And it's on one of those flimsy little newer boom arms, which is good. As you can see, it holds it, but I just thought, with this new one around, I might as well get, get myself a new boom arm. Replace my main setup here. Take that boom arm right here, move it to my max set, setup, and then move this new bad boy. So, let's get this unboxing going. Let's find out what we have inside. Here's the desk clamp right here. Looks good. Feels nice and heavy, sturdy. I like that. Let's move this stuff along. Quick installation guide, as you see. So, it's nice. Um, I'm gonna hook this up and then tell you exactly what I think about it. What we have here is a few different joints. You can tighten these up, loosen them up looks good same here another joint which you can loosen up or tighten up depending on your preference and then here's the third one here they have the blue logo as you see looks good in the Rode PSA boom arm uh, you don't really have any channeling right here so what the blue microphone stand does it actually has a little place to hide the cable so it's a little bit more seamless so right here this is really all you have and then I mean they do give you these awesome little ties for the uh, actual cable but I mean it's still a fantastic microphone stand holds a lot of weight that's why a lot of people use it it's really good but as you see it just doesn't have that uh, that cable hiding and if we take a look, you can see exactly what I'm talking about, where you have the cable hiding method with these little clips here. You can easily tuck your cable right in there and it uh, just does a much better job and it goes all the way down through the spine of the actual boom arm. So this is a good design. One of the reasons why I picked this up um, because it had that design and it just seem to be a little bit more seamless. So happy with that. Let's put this thing together. And that's, this just kind of pops right off and uh, really easy. Has like a little thumb spot for you to or put your nail in and just pop it right off so you can see right here all you have to do is place them down really like this design So here we 
art. This thing is a beast. Man, I, I love my Rode PSA 1 boom arm, but this thing does feel kind of like an upgrade because I do have the cable channeling, which hides the cables pretty well. Um, and let me just take you around here and you can kind of see for yourself what I'm talking about. How this thing looks. It just looks fantastic. I mean, I'm loving it really. And you can see it has a little bit more girth to it, but uh, overall, the design is fantastic. You can see here with the cable channel, it, it, it just it just works out really well. It moves, it stays exactly. That's one of the biggest thing. It it can hold. Um, I believe it can hold about 3.9 pounds. I'm not. I'll leave a link or in the description and tell you exactly everything about the mic. But from just putting it on the mic, using it for a little while, I'm really happy with the uh, the way this thing has uh, turned out. I think it looks excellent on the desk. Um, I'm not a huge fan of having the logo there, but it's not it's not going to take away from you know the setup. Uh, so I'm really happy with it so far. Let me make sure I'm talking into the mic so you guys can hear me. But yeah, overall, two thumbs up. Um, it's a win in my book. So links to this whole setup right here will be down in the description if you guys want to check it out. I definitely think that it's worth an upgrade. Um, at first, I didn't think it was kind of an upgrade, but seeing the cable channeling and just the overall sleeker design, I think it's definitely a win. So if you're looking at this, uh, it definitely has my stamp of approval. Now we'll see how long it lasts. Like I said, the other one lasts me quite a while, four or four and a half years. This is made out of, feels like some uh, heavier duty plastic, but plastic nonetheless. So, all right, guys, thank you for tuning in. Links will be down in the description. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. If you didn't, well, you know what to do. Till next time, I will see you around. Yeah, I like it.